the Nomos Tangente. Inspired by the functional designs of Germany's modernist Bauhaus and Werkbund, the watch became an instant classic when it was launched in 1991. To this day, the Tangente remains the best-selling timepiece in the repertoire of the Nomos Manufactory in the German town of Glashütte. It has also helped this traditional watchmaking center polish its image, which faded during the communist days of East Germany. Roland Schwertner is the man behind the Tangente's design. A businessman from Dusseldorf, he founded Nomos in 1990. Since then, the firm has produced 50,000 of the watches. We needed to find historical references in Glashütte. We wanted to tie the new things we're doing with what was here before. Old books and documents on the history of Glashütte shows lots of exquisite pocket watches and complex mechanisms. But there were also sketches by A. Lange and Sons from the 1930s, which were more influenced by the Bauhaus era. Glashütte has been synonymous with world-class watches since 1845. Watchmaking continued during the communist era, but was mostly restricted to mass-produced models. Then came the fall of the wall, and in 1990, Roland Schwertner was the first to try to revive the town's traditional status. He started with just three employees and had to share his telephone line with a snack bar. For the first few years of production, Nomos purchased the mechanisms from Switzerland. Today, the firm's 80 employees produce the watch and its driving mechanism almost entirely themselves. Special editions in colors like House Mouse Gray, Red Cross Nurse White, and Field Poppy Red lend the Tangenda's simple design a playful note. The watch has won over many fans, including artist Klaus Schmidt, who owns 25 models. They cost about 1,000 euros each, but for Schmidt, they are much more than an instrument for telling time. It conveys a sense of the wearer being creative and to a certain degree intellectual. It does so without frippery. It comes right to the point without feeling cold or inhuman. To put it in a nutshell, it's like a modern day form of humanism. Naturally, we have to keep working on this watch and constantly improve it, so no model is quite the same as another. But I think its aesthetic has an enduring appeal. That's the advantage of a classic. It never goes out of fashion. The Tangenta isn't trendy as such, but always looks up to date. In fact, you could say it's timeless.